What's up guys? I haven't made a video in a while. Figured I'd update you guys. Um Yeah. So um basically I'm just starting my day and whatnot. But if you guys never had this, the Loca Mocha monster, it's so good. Alright, now let's see what I have done. Minus my haircut. Um, plastic dip the wheels, black, tinted the taillights. I got rid of the aftermarket ones I had. So, put the tow hook in, did a muffler to delete. I mean, seriously, like, a muffler delete sounds so good. Um, wow, got hot in here real quick. Wrapped the door handles on both sides and also wrapped my dash. Besides that, I have basically did nothing. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell. But there is something different about my car. I took the lip off, took the side skirts off, took the rear spats off, and the wing. Only reason I didn't like them, it wasn't my style. I liked the stock body lines on the FRS. So I took those off, in which I found out that they were authentic five axis um, side skirts, front lip, and rear spats, and spoiler. Um, I met up with a guy down in Scranton, PA yesterday, because he bought them. So he got them, drove them down there. Wicked cool, dude. Um, then I ended up like, I don't know, like last week I ended up with a ticket. And I will show you right now. <laughs> um, yes, I did get a ticket. Let's see here. You don't need to know a lot. Um, 72. And 55, um, it was a work zone, but he dropped it down to a 70 in a 55, which I'm thankful for. Didn't mark it down as a construction zone either, which is a plus. That would have been eight points on my license. Right now, I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to be calling my lawyer and hopefully getting it reduced to like a seatbelt or a loud exhaust or some, something stupid. But that was completely my fault. Um, I understand I'm not using the fisheye today. I just, I didn't feel like putting it on. Just, I don't know. It, it was weird, like... I normally do the speed limit in a in a work zone. Well, maybe five over, but when I do seventy, is because I'm passing somebody that's doing like forty-five in a work zone, which you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to be doing fifty-five, not forty-five. I understand, like if you're old, or nervous, like your first day driving, but. Come on. It's New York. We've been through construction. It's it's like driving down the highway at 65 miles an hour and out of nowhere a storm comes in and you drop your speed because you can't see because, like I said, you're nervous, you're scared. Rain doesn't really bother a lot of people, but the people it does 
the people that have bad eyes. Um, what I will be doing next to the car is probably another visual mod. I'm not sure. I was thinking about wrapping my mirrors in that gold. In that gold. Um, I'm trying to get the money for the parent license plate relocation bracket. I don't know if you guys can tell, but right here I hit a trailer hitch and they put a dent in the bumper but I'm not too worried about it because that'll just it's pushing me to get the bumper I actually want I also debadged it um, I'll be vinyl wrapping my roof myself along with my buddy um, I mean that's about it hopefully new headlights coming soonish um but we had a bad storm i don't know if you guys can tell but there are sticks all over I'm trying to hold the camera as steady as possible i'm not using my selfie stick like right here here's a stick um me and the girlfriend have to park on the road like there's sticks everywhere and right now yeah i'm trying not to have people get their cars scratched and shit so why not but um hopefully coils within the next two months before my first car payment and whatnot there good enough at least no sticks will hit my car um like i said um the wasp racing coil overs i'm a dealer for so if you need um, coil overs or anything FRS, BRZ, GT86 Hyundai Genesis 4K Coupe um, First Gen I don't know if we have them for the second gen yet um, Optima Cadenza And I'm talking like We have them for a lot of cars The Hyundai Veloster The Elantra the Elantra Coupe, um, Accent, we have them for BMW, Honda, um, some Chevy cars, keyword, some Chevy cars, we have them for the Sonic, we have them for the Malibu, um, if you guys want a price on coils, just hit me up with, down in the comments, Say what type of vehicle you have, make, model, and year, and I will reply to you. <laughs> Wasp Racing Coilovers are 775 shipped. Um, that's just the street version. The track race version is $1,100 shipped anywhere in the states. Um, also a dealer, a salesman, I should say for power shift incorporated which is on facebook um but they deal with wasp racing d2 esr wheels jancy wheels mst wheels avid one wheels um i'm basically like trying to help him out grow his make him grow his business even though he's down in texas he'll still get you your stuff this month and i'm talking the month of june i'm only doing esr wheels for i don't know but if you buy a set of esr wheels you'll get a free bride bag i'm talking i don't know look them up the free bride bag um like who doesn't like free stuff we do a lot of stuff through PowerShift. I do more of the sales around New York and stuff, so. But, um, yeah, just hit me up. I'm trying to better my life. I'm trying to get my CDL, get into a different job. Me and the girlfriend are engaged finally after six plus years of being together. She finally 
like said yes to me proposing. I tr tried to propose when I was down in Tennessee earlier this year, and she said no. So, I mean, it's June now, and she said yes. So, I mean, like within a two month span, she changed her mind and stuff. I got her parents' approval before all that. And that honestly, it goes a long ways. Like, guys, if you plan on marrying your girl, go ask her parents. Seriously. I'm not kidding. Like, her mom almost cried because I asked. But, anyways, I mean. A lot of plans for the FRS. So. Just let me know if you guys want any wasp racing coilovers, ESR wheels, GNC wheels, Avid One wheels, or MST wheels. I think I said that already. No, I didn't. But um, I will be rocking Avid One wheels on the FRS along with wasp racing coilovers. After that, sorry, I had a phone call and I recorded on my phone. Um, right now. Currently on the outback. After the storm, had to kind of look around, see if there's any trees falling or whatnot. Doesn't seem like there is. We have like I don't know. We have like bad trees out back. Um, but yeah. Anyways, well, heads on stuck in my tooth. Um, where was I? Um, yeah, the wasp bracing coilovers and all the wheels and stuff, all the money goes to power shift, except for a little bit of it. And I'm, I'm barely making any money off of it. It's basically to help me out here and there if I need money. Um, but I did, however, purchase a premium auto styling banner for the back window. Well, it was supposed to go on the front, but as you can see, I got my diverse banner on the front, which is going to be dope, which is dope, minus this bubble that I can pop and will pop, but yeah. I don't know. I think I should do white. Ooh, that is wet. Sorry, backed up in the lap. But you guys think I should do white wheels? Because I can buy plastic dip and re plastic dip them. I mean, they're supposed to be shiny, but with the brake dust and dirt. I don't know if you guys can see that. Focus camera. Of course you're not. But yeah, they're supposed to be shiny. Whoa, why'd you zoom in? Um, I got a lot of plans for this car. It was a dream car of mine that I've had for probably the last three years. I gotta get this hub tail light fixed. It's got condensation in it, as you can tell. Which kind of sucks. I think I'm going to throw the wide angle lens on. Just because I can. I got to study for the test that I'm taking today for the for my CDL and stuff. So, this should be fun and interesting. Like I said, it's, it's just a clip-on. So... Put that one back. Nothing's done under the hood of the FRS. I kind of wanted to paint the engine cover, but I'm not good with paint or taping shit off. So let's see here. That better? Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Oh yeah. 
Mouth is stupid freaking short. Um. Anyways, just hit me up, PowerShift Incorporated on Facebook, or hit me up in the comments in this video. I will catch you guys later. Do not lose ambition or you'll lose yourself. Remember that. Alright, peace.